I'm very glad to be here today with Ademir Gibara. I hope this is correctly pronounced. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> How would you pronounce your name? My name? Yes. Ademir Gibara. Gibara. Yes. But don't you worry. Okay. I am unable to, to pronounce surname, your surname too. Yes, it's very complicated as well, <laughs> yes. And uh, it's very interesting because uh, we are from so different countries and we have so less in common uh, when it comes to age. For example, you're twice my age nearly. Sorry to say, I don't want to uh, <laughs> expose this. Uh, that you are, you told me you're 72 by now. Yes. And you have done Elias research on your whole academic career for 50 years now. No, no. No? My academic career started well, basically in 1974 when I finished, finished my master's degree yeah. at the Sao Paulo State University, the so-called USP, USP. Yeah. It's the biggest Brazilian university. Yes. And uh, I used to be a voluntary work uh, as a teacher yes. in the USP, in the department, history department. At that moment, we lived un under the military dictatorship, mm -hmm. and uh, the money for the university was so squashed yes. that uh, they was unable to contract new teachers mm -hmm. and uh, the voluntary students of uh, graduation mm -hmm. courses mm -hmm. were invited in some cases to be to teach some classes. In my case it was contemporary history history yeah. and it was a degree to later became a professor, a teacher yes. uh, receiving some money. Okay. Yes. Then, when I finished my master's degree, yeah. I was, uh, I had a work in Unicamp, that mm -hmm. is another state university mm -hmm. in the state of Sao Paulo. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was arrested mm -hmm. in '75, just when I started my, my new work okay. uh, as a prisoner. Doing, I was a member of the resistance movement okay. and uh, uh, my colleagues, after some period in jail, mm -hmm. one month, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they had said to me, well, it's better to go outside Brazil to do your doctoral thesis, yeah. stay some time. Uh, out of out of Brazil because it's not secure to be yes. arrested in a second second way. second time yes because then the problem will be much more complex so you were in a kind of were you in a kind of communist or socialist party movement yes. at this time and you were arrested and you came um, into a big cell with many other people and people at this time in Brazil were tortured for their political beliefs. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. it's important to know that uh, there at that moment there mm -hmm. were only two parties allowed. Mm -hmm. One, situation party, the called mm -hmm. Arena, mm -hmm. and one opposition part called MDB. Mm -hmm. That is uh, mo uh, Brazilian Movement for Democracy. Yes. But everybody was doing something in the clandestinity. Okay. Okay? The Communist Party was also the Socialist Party. All parties, groups, different, yes. Trotskyists, and so yeah. on and so forth. The word was in Brazil was in the clandestinity. From yeah. 98 to 84, yeah. I went to England yes. and I did my PhD at the London School of Economics yes. and Political Science. Yes. But you, at that moment, yeah. the, the dictatorship was going down yes. and the things are changing. Uh, even in London, I didn't knew Elias. 
and okay. the works of Norbert Elias. You, you did not encounter him at the London School of Economics because you know Norbert Elias, he was very long in, in, in the London School of Economics and yes. associated with it. And you did not learn anything about him. Yes, uh, all hmm? Brazilians yeah. in Latin America at that moment mm -hmm. were very close to the Marxists. Yes. Because Marxism was in Brazil um, a, a, a way of resistance. Yeah. You know, uh, the books are forbidden, but mm -hmm. uh, in, in a dictatorship, mm -hmm. you have to find ways of uh, have a life, uh, moments in your mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. where you mm -hmm. feel a sort of freedom. Yeah. And uh, uh, in a sense, Maxim was much more uh, a, tool, a tool for resistance than uh, academic uh, area of knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, when I went to England, uh, my concern was with my PhD thesis. I understand, yes. And uh, uh, I, I forgot and I broke my ties. Okay. Okay. Uh, with the resistance movement and so on and so forth. So also because yeah. the experience of torture yes. is a little <laughs> something that I don't recommend. You have been tortured. Yes. In yes. person, physically they have beaten you. What has happened to you? Well, um, lots of things. Okay. Electrical shocks. Oh God. And psychological torture. Yes. Uh, it's, it's terrible. Because uh, the, the the system of torture yes. is something that is very well done and very well studied. You never give an answer to the person that is torturing mm -hmm. you, but the answer is always for a, a group that is analyzing and crossing information with other Pretty person nice. that was arrested, yeah. were arrested and they are arrested. Yes. To, to, to them, the important is to get the ties yes. and, the, and the network that uh, you are involved. New names and uh, situations and so on and so forth. And also it's very important to break your, to break your personality. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, of course, going to England, mm -hmm. For me, it was a privilege. Absolutely, yes. Because I, I, I could, be, for the first time in my life, study without working. Yeah. And without tension and pressure. And I could uh, balance better yes. my own past experiences yeah. and so on and so forth. But Elias was absolutely outside my my un yeah. li literary and uh, theoretical universe yeah. at that moment. I, could, I must say that perhaps I could be closer to Gramsci, the Italian tradition of yes. a, a, a open Marxism, yes. if it is possible to say something like this. And you were totally convinced that Marxism and resistance would be more important than um, having a kind of cultural science at this time? No, in, in fact, yeah. my, okay. my, my, doc, uh, my the, the doctoral mm -hmm. thesis, I, I felt, I, I, I dealt with the formation of the free labor market in Brazil mm -hmm. when the slavery was abolished. Mm -hmm. the, the, the process of mm -hmm. changing from slave labor mm -hmm. to free labor mm -hmm. market. It, 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 the, the main moment, moment was mm -hmm. 1888 mm -hmm. when the, 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 uh, the so-called late Aurea mm -hmm. has abolished the slavery in Brazil. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course Marxism, that was not enough to explain the complexity yes. of a country that was 
colonized it since the 16th century. Yes. That it had slave labor until the 19th century. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, even in this situation of crisis, mm -hmm. is the age, age economy in the world. Yeah. Uh, it's a very complex country, a yeah. very large country, yeah. and uh, Marxism is, at, even in that moment, was much more a yeah. tool of resistance yeah. than an academic uh, support for a research. I understand. It, it, it was clear for me at that time. Yeah. So you, you, were, you were preparing a doctoral thesis and you were um, working on an economic history way and when did come a sociological term? When were you more theoretically involved? And uh, at some point, when did Norbert Elias come in, into your research? Yes. Um, well, of course, being four years in London, mm -hmm. having all bibliographical support, mm -hmm. the libraries in London so are fantastic. Yes. And uh, the support for the researcher also, yeah. and of course, um, uh, new uh, uh, standpoints, mm -hmm. new frameworks mm -hmm. are uh, in my uh, my environment. Yes, uh, but Elias was not yet under my concern. Okay. You know, in, when I was, when I returned to Brazil mm -hmm. in 1966, mm -hmm. uh, we, need, we did uh, a meeting in my university, the Unicamp, Campinas State University yeah. of Sao Paulo. Okay. Uh, and Eric uh, Dani was invited. You returned only in 96? 1966. 1966. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then uh, my colleague Beatrice yeah. said, Well, Ademir, you have to help me. Yeah. First, uh, to get the money to do this meeting, uh, mm -hmm. I needed that you sign my project because your curriculum is more closed. Than the area of social sciences. Yes. Uh, my curriculum, Beatrice say, mm -hmm. said that it was in uh, physical anthropology mm -hmm. and uh, is a little bit uh, far from the project that yeah. I did. I signed and she, she said, well, now I need you want to be uh, in a table, high table, to um, discuss with Danny yeah. around this uh, uh, focus in analyzing sports and so on and so forth. So Eric Dunning was at this time here in Brazil? Yes. Oh wow. Then I said, that is, I never read uh, any book from mm -hmm. Eric, mm -hmm. or you said, what's the name of the, <laughs> she, she said, Elias, even Elias, I, I only had, uh, uh, I read in, in, a, in a newspaper, mm -hmm. a little uh, article about mm -hmm. the, the first Elias for his book that mm -hmm. was published published in 1993, mm -hmm. but they never, she said, no problem, I have a Portuguese version of the quest, quest of excitement, sure. and I will, I will let to you, you will read and you will help me. I said, oh gosh, well, anyway, it will be interesting to know a, a new author, a new standpoint, and so on and so forth. Yes. Then I read the book, I said, well, it's a very interesting because the introduction of the book mm -hmm. was uh, was uh, an introduction of the theory of the civilizing process. 
Foi. É. E, you know, and I said, yeah. well, it's a very interesting way of thinking. Yeah. Not only sports, but above all, mm -hmm. a processual mm -hmm. sociology. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, was a light that uh, switched on in my head. Foi. Uh, I said, well, if I knew this sort of uh, um, sociology, mm -hmm. my PhD, that I must say, was a good PhD, yeah. should be better. Yes. You know, because... Yes, uh, you have the feeling it adds a, a new dimension to yes. what you would have written. Yes. Starting from there, and also the empathy yeah. of Eriki. It, it, he really enjoys to talk and to mm -hmm. uh, have an informal conversation, mm -hmm. and uh, he, he is fantastic mm -hmm. to to transfer her, his mm -hmm. experience mm -hmm. of life and uh, his relation with mm -hmm. the years. Uh, he mm -hmm. was the first student mm -hmm. that to get together with the years in Leicester. I know, yes. Yeah. And uh, things were, were growing. Yeah. And uh, I was at that moment working in the graduate program mm -hmm. in the Faculty of uh, Physical Education mm -hmm. in the Unicamp. And they started to use mm -hmm. that uh, book, the articles that Eric wrote. I translate someone, and uh, mm -hmm. I, my group of students, mm -hmm. who, they were. They were very was the best group that I yeah. I I built yeah. in my career. Some of them are here in this it, event. They are here in this event, and they have become professors by now. Yes, yes. So you had a very elitist group of young, motivated people, and they formed yeah. a kind of, of network of ideas and uh, of, of of course of career support, and they are now here in Brazil in, in different. Teaching positions. Yes, you can. It's, it's mm -hmm. fantastic because I have uh, uh, mm -hmm. students that they are to, that they are where and they are economists, mm -hmm. sociologists, historians, mm -hmm. and physical education teachers. Okay, cool. <laughs> and uh, us, all, uh, all the areas. A multidisciplinary group. Yeah. With different focus. Yeah. Uh, and it was very good. I, starting with that article, mm -hmm. I, well, I had a previous experience of reading Marx mm -hmm. when I was a graduate student. Yeah. It took 10 years to understand something. Yes. I said, well, if I, I, I don't think that I will have to have 10 years again to understand a yeah. new author. Yeah. Then I, I that was this symposium yes. started. I said, well, I said to Eric, you, could you come next year? Yeah. I, 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 I used to give my class and the problems that the students um, uh, discovered in their mm -hmm. discussions, mm -hmm. I took note mm -hmm. and uh, in the next year, I, I, I said to Eric, well, Eric, by the way, I was responsible for a misunderstood in the reception of Elias in Brazil. Okay. In the first moment, when the first time, yeah. moment yeah. that Eric was here, he asked me, why do you think that I could be more clear yeah. to, to explain the students the theory of the civilizing process? Yeah. I said, Eric, all Brazilian students at this moment has some knowledge of Marxism. Yeah. Because Marxism in Brazil was a tool to fight against dictatorship. Yes. <laughs> then Eric emphasized the differences between the Leos and Marx. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he missed the point. The point was Marx was not seen as a theorist, he was seen as a resistance, he was seen as, a, as an ideology to handle with the oppression. Of course. Yeah. And your, your speech in the beginning of this symposium is clear 
Elias is a, an author that made it a great synthesizer of, yes. of ideas. ideas. Uh, uh, but uh, you know that emphasizing the, the contradictions or the tensions with Marx yeah. could, in the first moment, appear that, uh, well, it's a, it's a, it's, he is fighting against Marx. Well, yeah. it's not. But uh, yeah. it's something that uh, quickly we yeah. were able to change. Yeah. And uh, year by year, first two, three years with Eric, and then Stephen Mandel, and mm -hmm. then Joe. Joe Holtzman? Uh, yes. And they came mm -hmm. and uh, they accelerated, they speed mm -hmm. our, pro our process of approximation with the theory, helping to uh, make uh, a, pro a, a quick progress mm -hmm. instead of having 10 years of reading, reading, and reading. Yeah. We have two or three years, four or five years, yeah. and each year new problems, new yeah. circumstances uh, were discussed with a group that have had the same problems 30, 20 years ago. Yes. Okay. It's my, my, my contact was this one. And they were very supportive. They came to Brazil and, uh, and you established this, this network and now we have uh, this great conference here and one sees people are coming from very north and very south of Brazil and to the east and to the west and you have everywhere now Brazilian. And um, I think you were the first uh, one who actually was spreading uh, Elias on, 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 on Brazil. This didn't happen from a different source. Or no, no. There are different rules. Yes. yes. To, um, when uh, uh, Clara Taylor organized the symposium in yeah. Bogota, yeah. she invited me to perform the opening conference yes. uh, presenting the history of Norbert Elias in Brazil. Mm -hmm. How the thinking of the news came to Brazil. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I did a research, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and it was possible to identify three or four different ways of uh, mm -hmm. the news coming, uh, the thinking of the news coming to Brazil. Okay. The first one, uh, let's take 1950s. Yes. You know Brazil, Argentina, Chile, uh, especially, mm -hmm. the, and the Uruguay, mm -hmm. and the Colombia, are mm -hmm. countries that has uh, a strong European migration mm -hmm. since the 19th century. Mm -hmm. Then, for instance, in South Brazil, mm -hmm. we have, and the Argentina, we have mm -hmm. a strong German immigration. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the father of Lucas Crocho, yeah. He is from Argentina. Yes. Read Elias in the 50s in German language. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, and his, Lucas told me, look this, and it opened my mind to this. Lots of, lots, but immigrants had this way, this way to walk. Yeah. Because they had, uh, maternal language. I yeah. don't know if in English I can say maternal language, yeah. but the, okay. the first language yeah. learned in their country where they came from. Yeah. Then I found also another Italian. That okay. uh, but it's important to bear in mind mm -hmm. that our universities were not so strong as mm -hmm. they are today, mm -hmm. since the years 1970, 1980, mm -hmm. when the graduate programs started in Brazil. Yeah. Then this way was a very strict way of uh, having the contact with Elias. Yeah. And also, apart from this, uh, in the 70s, uh, Brazilian government used to send 
uh, academic study, mm -hmm. uh, France, especially France. Okay. Because the area of human sciences in Brazil yes. is in the Sao Paulo State University, yeah. where built by French. Yes. Uh, let me say, yes. I am taking my, my, yeah. my lecture just to remember the names. That USP, the mm -hmm. Sao Paulo State University, mm -hmm. a contract from French, mm -hmm. some very, uh, at that moment, they are starting being academics yeah. uh, high level. But yes. names like, uh, for instance, uh, uh, let me see. Sorry, I am not in. Um, well, um, mm, uh, take your time. Okay. We, we can make a cut, uh, you yeah. can search uh, and uh, when we make a cut in the video. Uh, it's a very important information, but... They are collected, not Oh, problem. yes. Look, Claude Lévi-Strauss. Lévi-Strauss, yeah. Roger Bastide. Yeah. Fernand Brodel. Oh, of course. Brodel wrote his main book in Brazil. Yeah. He was in Argelia, formerly. Yes. And the get the material, the, the sources, yeah. bring with him to Brazil and working in USP. He, he, ah, he was working took, here? Yes, for some years. He used the time to write. You mean as an important book on the social history or not uh, on, on the Mediterranean Sea? Not yes. That, that, I think the, the Mediterranean Sea he was writing and, and being imprisoned uh, uh, as a prisoner of war, uh, I, I, as far as I remember. But yeah. The other book was he he wrote in Brazil. I remember I have heard some the, some uh, speech or some writing from mm -hmm. uh, Brodel mm -hmm. where he he said I am thank you thanks to Brazilian my Brazilian moment because it gave me time to write yes the, and to work inside the material yeah. that I, I yeah. yes and you know uh, São Paulo State University. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I don't know if it's, it is relevant to you, Ken. Uh, São Paulo State is a, a very, is a third part of Brazilian population yes. and the Brazilian economy. Of course, it's, it's the biggest town. It's, I think it's the biggest town in South America yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to, just to, to, an, to an European to, mm -hmm. to have a comparison, the, the richness of São Paulo is bigger than Austria. Yeah, yeah. I think it's twice or thrice the, the size. Even. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. important information yeah. because yeah. the state universities, not the federal university. Yeah, the state university of São Paulo mm -hmm. are the became after mm -hmm. 1930 mm -hmm. when we have an internal revolution mm -hmm. that São Paulo lived and was the fight. The fit, they built the, the São Paulo State University mm -hmm. to, to, as a, an answer to the, mm -hmm. the, the, the situation of the political situation. Mm -hmm. And they bought in the area of mathematics and the chemistry, mm -hmm. Germans, mm -hmm. in, in the area, and Italians, mm -hmm. in the area, in the human sciences, French. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, they started the university in the, in the theaters of the last okay. century. And the, of course, it, this university started in a high level. Mm -hmm. Because you... You didn't start with, with easy thinking, but they began on a very high level. And I think also uh, with the proposition that you have uh, not very conservative thinkers. You have people who want to try something new because you do not go to Brazil if you want to get on a common ground. You, you want to state Start some a, a new ex academic experience, like yeah. uh, you mentioned Fernand Brodel before. 
like they did in, in Strasbourg after the First World War, when the University of Strasbourg became French, and young French uh, historian came to the chairs, and they established uh, 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 anal, uh, the, the Annales School, yeah. um, because they wanted to try something new. They were not going to Paris, they were going to Strasbourg, which was uh, newly French. Yes. So I, I think it does a parallel, yeah. yes. And, and uh, continuing, in the 70s of the yes. last century, Brazilian government starts to support uh, mm -hmm. scholars mm -hmm. that were working in the university without mm -hmm. the level of doctoral mm -hmm. level, a master level, mm -hmm. to go to Europe to do this step. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the in University of Paris 3, yeah. there are some uh, uh, teachers mm -hmm. that introduced Elias to Brazilian scholars that mm -hmm. were in France. Mm 